Well, let's talk about the the Russia stuff. We, we, sure. You know, I saw you on uh, on uh, MSNBC, and you were uh, there with um, uh, Malcolm Nance and talking about the Russia hacking. And I think, like at that time, and this was like a day or two after things turned, it seemed a little bit more real. It seemed to me, anyways, like the <laughs> the idea that. And and I think well, you express your 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 opinion on it because I think your your uh, articulation of it is sort of similar to what my feeling has been, largely speaking, which is you know broadly, I'm not surprised Russia would try and influence our election. We do it uh, for that matter. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I'm still in this place where, uh, uh, from what everybody says, and, and I've talked to people who are like cyber experts and. They're very convincing when they say that the case is almost irrefutable that the Russians hacked uh, the DNC. Obviously, Trump himself has has since said that um, that he believes that that that's true and that there's evidence that they you know gave it to WikiLeaks. Um, but beyond that, you know, it, it's the next step in the story that that really makes me nervous as a reporter because. Uh, even though certain things are believable, there's just not a whole lot of uh, information that we have to go on to say, make a statement that would be an extraordinary one for anyone to make, which is that Trump and Putin were in some kind of collusive uh, arrangement, that this was an October surprise slash Man- Manchurian candidate story. And that that kind of stuff, there's a, there are insinuations to that effect that are being made all over the place, uh, I thought the most interesting detail uh, in that respect was the news that came out of um, Israel from yes. uh, sources like Haaretz and and uh, and Ynet that the that the United States intelligence officials had told Israeli intelligence yes. officials that Trump was compromised and that they shouldn't share intelligence with him. Now that's that's like an order of magnitude beyond what the intelligence agencies even said in their assessment that they released. You know, they they assessed that Russia did the hack, but they didn't say that Trump was compromised in that in that report. So that that makes me wonder what what do they have if they're saying that you know uh, privately, uh, and why can't they make that that public? Um, but beyond that, I, don't, I mean, I don't know how you feel, but I don't know what we can do. I don't know what we can say. Yeah, well, there that. was a, there was a story. I think it came out today, or maybe it was yesterday. McClatchy, uh, which confirms or reiterates previous reporting about there being sort of a um, um, uh, a, uh, a group of intelligence agencies that have been investigating this, you know, a joint task force type of situation. But according mm-hmm. to McClatchy, the FBI fi- and five other law enforcement and intelligence agencies have collaborated for months, like starting in the spring, uh, involving, uh, including the Treasury Department's Financial Crimes Enfor- uh, Enforcement Network, one of the allegations involves whether a system for routinely paying thousands of Russian American pensioners may have been used to pay some email hackers in the United States or supply money to intermediaries who would then pay the hackers. And then right. uh, the other one was, uh, in addition to finding out who financed the hack, right, uh, that there seems to be some implication. The other aspect of the uh, the investigation deals with a direct funding for Trump's campaign uh, mm-hmm. involving also Americans associated with Trump's campaign. And then there were the reports, you saw this, right, where uh, there was a FISA warrant that was rejected in yeah. June, a FISA warrant rejected in July, and then one, we don't know if it was rejected in October, but there, the, there was sort of well, like some notion that it was, it was the granted. Part of it was accepted. Yes, the, 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 it, was, it was accepted on the Russians, and it was rejected with vis-a-vis the Americans. So what do you so, make of that? So, but again, this is like, uh, if you're a reporter, what can you report here? You can report, at most, the existence of an investigation. But, right. the, you know, the, the, I mean, anybody can start an investigation into anything, and that doesn't tell you anything about, you know the, what what kind of facts they have. If we had the warrant application for the FISA situation, we might we might know exactly what they have and what their basis for thinking something is. But my my sense is that if FISA the FISA court, which is you know takes place in secret and has a very low standard, you know they almost never decline 
warrants from what I've seen in previous stories about the FISA court. For them to, to decide not to give a warrant against somebody twice. makes me think that, yeah, twice or three times even, right? Because you know, all elements know about, of it. Right. Yeah. So, you know, it, it, that, that doesn't tell us anything. Again, like the, the idea that they're investigating this stuff, um, in, it, it doesn't give us any information about what the actual there there is. You know, right. and that, that's what's so frustrating about this story is that, you know, to me, there are really only two possibilities here. I, either we have a compromised president, which is like this incredible once in history kind of a thing to happen, or we have what has to be on some level some kind of organized campaign to make us think that the intelligence agencies believe that. And that would also be extraordinary because that would be meddling, meddling in the right. domestic discussion on a level that you know the CIA and the FBI and you know the NSA have never done before, or at least that we know about, right? So right, right. Um, you know, both, both. I don't see. Could it be anything else? I, I just don't see how how it could be anything else. And what what's weird about you know sort of the um, the the latter, okay, is that. Mm -hmm. If it is like just a question of like they're trying to make it, you know, maybe maybe there was no FISA uh, warrant application, right? I mean, would it be right. possible? I mean, maybe there, you know, maybe there was maybe the the June and July applications and the October act never even existed because throughout those three points, there's nobody who could have really thought like this guy's going to be president and we want to undercut him. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna start the project to undercut Donald Trump as president in July or June of 2016. Everyone will look around, going like, "You're crazy, man! Like, why are you wasting your time? Let's undercut Clinton." <laughs> right. You know, like like that's the part that that sort of strikes me um, when and. But that cut. I mean, that cuts both ways, though. I mean, I, it, you can interpret that in a couple of ways. You know, let, let let's let's say, yeah. On the on the one hand, it it, it suggests that it's true because why why would they even think that Donald Trump would have been president back in July or in, or in 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 May you know when or October the, for that matter or October for that matter um but on the other hand you know you have a democratic administration and you know it's it's conceivable that you know, maybe this was on some level you know let's I don't know I mean it's it's, it's so hard to say but uh, both things just stretch credulity to such a degree that it's that, hard to um, wrap your head around it. I mean, yeah, exactly. Have you? It, it, it's it's hard to wrap your head around the idea that he could actually be compromised, and it's also hard to wrap your head around the idea that the, the you know well, that somebody was out to create this this the impression that. Well, he wait, was, the, um, the compromise thing is 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 somewhat different. Let's just be clear here. There's 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 two ways there's two issues with his relationship with Russia right that are at least you know discussed one is that they've been sort of blackmailing him right because mm -hmm. um, they have uh, you know pictures of him getting uh, peed on or something and right. um, and and or and or he is so deep into Russian oligarchs who are closely aligned with Putin that. Um, you know, uh, he is indebted to them and they could crash his business, which, you know, even now... Yeah, it would be more the latter, I think. Because is, is, is Trump really blackmailable? I mean, like, <laughs> you'd have to have shame to be blackmailed. Yeah, but anyway, I ahead. think so, right? I mean, um, and and maybe, I don't know, maybe they're not, maybe the plan was never to, you know, maybe, you know, it's also quite possible that, like, Russia was just we're just going to do this stuff because it doesn't cost us anything, right? right? Like they never thought that any of this stuff would happen. I mean, that, mm -hmm. that to me, I think like the most obvious explanation for all of this is like everybody's operating without thinking that it was going to go this far. I mean, just sort of like mm -hmm. in the same way that we all thought like, yeah, Trump, maybe, maybe he'll do well in the primary. Uh, maybe he'll win the primary. <laughs> well, right. maybe he'll, maybe he'll make it a little bit closer than we thought. And then Holy shit, he won. I mean, there's nobody in this process, whether, you know, regardless of what anybody believes, whether it was like Putin or uh, Russian hackers or James Comey, who could have predicted, you know, in mid-October, Trump's going to win if we do X, Y, or Z. Nobody would have thought that. That would have been ir right. irrational. And, right. I mean, it, I think like even, 
I was speculating yesterday the narrative about Comey could be completely wrong. He could have, for all we know, on October 26th when he came out, or whatever it was, October 20th when he came out with that letter, uh, he could have been doing that because he thought, we may end up indicting Donald Trump. And if I don't uh, go out of my way to show that I was willing to, um, you know, investigate Hillary Clinton, um, it might be difficult to indict him once she becomes president. Right. I mean, because, yeah, that's, you know, that's possible. I mean, it's who knows? I mean, I'm not saying it would be the smart thing to do, but, it, you know, it's like there's some logic to it. Like, oh, Donald Trump's not going to win the election. We just got our FISA court warrant. Uh, I'm getting feedback that this thing could be for real. Um, and now this letter that I've been sitting on for three weeks about uh, Hillary Clinton, I'm just going to send it in. So she's inoculated from any sort of charges of, uh, of uh, retribution because he claimed he was going to prosecute her after the election. And then uh, all of a that's sudden, really interesting. I never thought of that. Yeah, I that's, mean, that's possibly it, it's possible. I mean, that, that maybe because, you know, why doesn't Comey tell uh, these Democratic congressmen, I'm not investigating Trump anymore? Why, why would he why would he not close the door on this? Right. Right. Yeah, that's 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 very true. I mean, uh, and even the fact that that they kept it close to so close to his vest. I mean, it, he must have known how explosive that was. So you know, they, yeah, it, it's it's really interesting. It, it, it underscores how conscious of a dis- of a decision it must have been to leak the Hillary news. Um, you know that that clearly that was a huge step, and they must he must have put a lot of thought into whether or not he was going to do that. Um, you know, get, given that they didn't do that with the on the Trump side. Yeah, and I mean, I'm sure you've you've run into um, uh, USA's who who do uh, public corruption. What Comey did was completely unheard of. Right. I mean, they right. they never do stuff like that. They don't even do it if they have stuff. Never mind. Right. They think they have stuff. Because they just oh, don't want to do it that I close know. to an election. Yeah, and and you know, I mean, they, forget about that. They don't even comment on investigations that everybody in the world knows that they're conducting. Right. You know, the, they won't they won't talk about a case uh, even after they pre- presented the evidence in court. You know, like if you if you ever covered like a, a Justice Department case, uh, you, you know, you try try to get a you know a government spokesman to even say, well, what would tell me about what what. You know that that exhibit that you brought into trial today, they won't even do that. Like not even after they've made it public. So for them to actually, for him to actually disclose that they have something going on, it's just so out of the ordinary for them. Um, yeah, and it, yeah, it was amazing. Hey, it's Sam Cedar. Why don't you uh, subscribe to this channel? You can do so right uh, right over here. Some over subscribe.